The San Diego-based Latina Muslim Foundation opened its Asibil Mesquita Taiba shelter in a refurbished Tijuana nightclub in June 2022. A small blue dome, minaret, and pole topped with the universal half-moon crescent symbol of Islam marks the location of an immigrant shelter way station like none other in Mexico. It has a unique religion-based mission to help mainly Muslim immigrants with food, shelter, and respite from the long trail. But this altruistic mission also distinguishes the shelter from all others in a consequential way that has gone unexplored to date as an American national security and terrorism threat. The shelter caters to Muslim immigrants planning to cross and who have come all the way from countries like Yemen, Syria, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Lebanon, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Somalia, and lately the militant Chechen Republic of Russia. At any one time, the shelter holds from 30 to 140 Muslim immigrants, every one of them planning to cross into America one way or another. But the admiring press that greeted its opening never mentioned that U.S. Homeland Security authorities officially categorize immigrants from countries like those where terrorist organizations are active as special interest aliens. It opens as record numbers of special interest aliens caught crossing were on the FBI's terrorism watch list, 98 just in fiscal 2022 and another nine in just the month of October. The presence in Mexico of special interest aliens is supposed to trigger Mexican counterterrorism measures, like face-to-face -face interviews at airports and running names and biometrics against American terror watch list databases and deporting them. CIS traveled to Tijuana to find answers to unasked questions about the shelter and learned that neither Mexico nor the United States appear very interested in the one-of-a-kind congregation of special interest aliens here at the Tijuana shelter. The shelter's Mexican-American manager and convert to Islam, Sonia Garcia, said she understands and shares American concern about terrorism and does what she can. I'm not the person who is going to hide the reality of what people do, regardless of their religion, Garcia told CIS. Just because they are Muslims, we are not going to let them come to the United States or Mexico to hurt people. Garcia said her organization has called Mexican authorities twice when staff grew suspicious of certain travelers for further security checks and that they were rejected. But Garcia and her staff are not trained in security like American and Mexican intelligence officers. Plenty of migrants come and go at will to cross the border. They are a mix of families and adult single men who came for a few days or weeks and take advantage of the shelter's halal-approved food, its mosque, religious classes, and modesty rules not available in other border shelters in Mexico. Garcia said she has information on everyone in her files and is willing to share what she has with American or Mexican authorities. If somebody's on the list and they want to find out if they came from the shelter, well, they're welcome to come to the shelter and ask us. We have no problem in giving the information or in hiding the information. If he is on the watch list and he came to the shelter, well, it's very good because we'll give them the information, Garcia said about the Americans. But no one from American intelligence or law enforcement has ever asked Garcia for anything. This is Todd Bensman from the Center for Immigration Studies. You can read much more about the Tijuana Shelter at CIS.org.